Hi folks, it's Justin again with Mock Speed Hobbies. Today we've got the uh, the Creighton again. Uh, another revision that you didn't know we needed. The uh, V5 just came out. Uh, we're going to take this uh, thing out of the box and show you what's changed on it. Um, some of the good revisions that they have made that I think you guys are going to like. All right, folks, so first change, we went up from $549.99 to $569.99 is the uh, minimum advertised pricing of this vehicle. Um, right off the bat, on the front of the box, you'll see that they've upgraded the Spectrum technology. Now we have a new Firma motor installed, Smart ESC, and a DSMR compatible receiver. Um, so they've... Included the Spectrum SLT3 2.4 gig radio. So this is not the smart compatible radio that's included. Um, it does have the secure link uh, technology. It does have a faster response protocol. And we've been having some better luck with these as far as um, your range and everything. So we're not having the problems that we did with the older radios. Um, now, it does have the really nice three-channel SR315 dual protocol receiver with the um, um, dual protocol. You're going to be able to use your higher-end radios like your DX5C and the, the, the 5C rugged models. Um, so that's cool. You're not, you're not going to have to jerk the old original um receiver out of the vehicle and put a new one in it just to upgrade your radio which is what well, has been a complaint in the past and so you're not gonna have to worry about it with this one being dual protocol you don't you know you can use this with the newer stuff also has the uh, push button bind on it uh, they've upgraded to a stronger faster steel metal geared waterproof digital servo so no longer the the weaker um uh the weaker servo that originally came from Arma. The uh, the Spectrum S652 is actually um, nearly a you know 20 gram or 20 kilogram servo. It makes about 265 ounce inches of torque at the 7.4 volt rating from the BEC. So you got 30 percent. Um, uh, excuse me, 32% stronger and about 5% faster than what you're dealing with before. Um, that's always kind of been something I wish was better. Now it is. Um, you've got brand new firmer speed control, fully smart compatible speed control. So if you do upgrade the radio to a smart radio like the 5C and up, you'll have the telemetry and stuff um, going back to your radio uh, with their whole smart suite um, lineup of, of products. So Using a smart battery, you'll be able to see voltages and stuff like that. Uh, and they've gone away from the Arma motor as well. They've got the new Firma motor. Um, it's still the same KV, but these motors are getting great reviews. Lots of power. Um, it will make this car absolutely explosive off the line. Um, now, they have changed to a new EXB top plate. Um that's new for it, so they've braced that up. They've got a newer, larger volume waterproof box, so they've redesigned the box. This is a huge improvement to keeping water and dust out of your radio, um, out of your radio bay, and you've got more room to work in there. Uh, that's really good. And then you'll see right here that they've gone to a newer style uh, shock tower on the rear. The the original previous version, you know, they had a, a long kind of skinny ear out here. People were knocking these off, bending them. There wasn't a lot of metal around the middle as well. And you can see that they've shortened them up. There's not as much hanging out there. There's a lot more metal here up the sides. Um, these should hang in there a lot better um, as far as, you know, taking, taking the beats and bangs that you're going to throw at this thing while you're bashing. You know, you'll see the... Right here on the servo, you can see the full metal uh, internal gear train of the servo. Um, and you've got, still have a, a reinforced metal arm like always. So, one more thing. With the Firma motors like the uh, other 
things like the uh, Creighton 8S, they have gone to the new safety pinion. The safety pinion is really, really nice because it's actually keyed to the drive shaft and you actually have an E-clip holding the, the pinion on there. It means that if that set screw was to back completely out, you can still start and stop this vehicle. Um, it's still safe to operate, um, you know, until you get that, that uh, grub screw put back in. The E-clip should keep it from sliding off the end, and the keyed, the keyed shape of the uh, uh, pinion gear allows you to stop safely until you can get it repaired. Um, now, they also have new safety input gears as well. Uh, to prevent slippage on those as well. And that's, so that's an uh, improvement that they haven't had before. So let's get inside the box. Let's let you actually take a look at what's how this stuff is installed. All right, everyone. So let's start with what I feel like is the, the bad, the cons on this vehicle. The radio is somewhat disappointing. Now, I will say the ergonomic feel of this radio is better and it feels more substantial than the last ones they put in there it's got just the just as much adjustability all your basic stuff but i really think they they really dropped the ball by not i mean why are you going to put all the spectrum smart equipment in this thing like the firma motor this firma speed control and the ability to do all that and then you throw this non-smart. And like it doesn't even have the uh, battery indicator on the top like your other ones do. Like your, uh, you know, your your Creighton 8S, your your Outcast 8S, the new Losi, uh, you know, six scale uh, Super Baja Ray, and you know the infraction, and the list goes on, you know, why, why not give us that radio? Now, I will say, okay, they only raised the price 20 bucks, and they got everything else, so I guess if that's the one thing I can complain about on this one, we're still not doing too bad, because there's some, some really good stuff inside this truck that they did, um, that I think everybody's going to appreciate. Yeah, you know, if you want the, the nicer smart capability, you know, back to the radio for your telemetry and stuff like that, yeah, you're going to have to do some some different stuff, but you're going to have to upgrade the radio. But one thing I will notice right off the bat, guess what? EXB front A-arms. Okay, so you'll notice the thickness has changed. These are These are a lot thicker. They've also got the uh, aluminum end caps on that for uh, more durability. So where they, uh, where your pillow balls screw in, they've got a hard point. So there's there's not going to be um, as much chance of those ripping out the ends. I have seen that a couple times. It's pretty rare, but I have seen it. Um, other than that, it's, it's pretty much your typical setup up here. Now, they also put the EXB, which is hard to see because it's black here, but they did put the EXB upper plate. Um, so that's been reinforced as well. Um, your, you know, tower to tower brace is the same as it always has been. Your, uh, your center tower body support, same as it's always been. Um, your battery tray is pretty much the same deal. Velcro straps, adjustable height here for, uh, you know, stacking two batteries or one big thick one in there. Um, now, battery or your radio tray, of course, a lot bigger. We talked about that. Um, that gives you a lot more room to put, you know, you know, AVC style receivers in there if you wanted to swap that out. But that is a dual protocol DSMR compatible receiver. So if you just want to drop a 5C in it or better. You don't have to buy a new receiver to do that. And then we'll move on over here to your um, new Spectrum Servo. Um, we expect good things out of this thing. It's uh, got a lot better figures than the uh, the last arm of Servo. Uh, we still retain the, uh, the nice heavy-duty metal arm. Um, and then you'll see here we've got the new Firma Speed Control. This is a fully smart compatible speed control with the new Spectrum Firma uh, 2050 kV motor. Um, they've got the, uh, your uh, motor mount is 
pretty typical. It's almost like a miniaturized version of the uh, Creighton 8S now. Um, you know, you've got the square D pinion that we talked about that, you know, keys into the motor shaft so that even if your grub screw comes out, your set screw, you know, the, the E clip on the end and the D shape of the uh, pinion gear will allow you to stop the vehicle and the e-clip prevents it from coming off the end and then a couple screws on top a couple on the bottom you can slide this motor in and out to make adjustment do pinion gear changes and stuff like that you also have new keepers for the um, rear drive shaft where it enters this is also another you know quote unquote safety product that they've uh, incorporated into it um, to where uh, you know where people were having problems with these loosening up you won't have that issue with this if it loosens up you still have rear drive um, that's cool as well and then of course the reinforced beefed up shortened down uh, version of the uh, rear shock tower so you're not bending those ears um, you know you didn't need all those extra adjustment holes anyway this is pretty much where they they like to live to begin with so that's a that's another big improvement and then of course the rear a arms they are also exp style a arms they're um a whole lot thicker than the other ones more more bracing and uh <clears throat> so overall the vehicle has got you know some real beefed up items where it really counts where they had um now they've also um beefed up the uh, chassis they've they've done some some new stamped features here on the rear that is intended to stiffen that area up where they'd have problems with it bending on uh big jumps big air and stuff like that so the uh, even the chassis has changed um and they've got the upturn on the sides here as well to help stiffen it down the whole length of the chassis but um overall uh you know it looks the same at first glance but when you start digging into it, obviously you've got some really new stuff in it. Um, some, uh, a lot of, a lot of upgrades really, you know, you consider the, the servo, the speed control, the motor, all the A-arms, all the extra bracing from the EXB, you know, to only go up 20 bucks is quite frankly a deal. Um, so arm a big thumbs on up on that. The only cons I really saw on it were the, the fact that, Hey, I really wish they would have upgraded the radio too, but you know, that's okay for 20 bucks more, you know, we'll take it. Um, guys, we really like doing these videos. If you enjoyed watching this video, thought you learned a lot, by all means, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.